What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here oh. with another reaction. Sorry, feel like I had. A... Now let me know. I know. I know. Study or not? I think it is. Oh. Sorry, I be unprepared sometimes. So if you see me going like this throughout the video, I apologize. But we here with a Nana Nanami song "The End" by Fable Jujutsu Kaisen. Now I already reacted to Dizzy Eights, and I've said y'all in the last video, and I said in that video I'm gonna react to this one. So we just gonna go straight right into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there, and. Without further ado, let's get in the video. First of all, I was saying in fit in Dizzy Eights he was going crazy with vocals, but now Fable, we all know with Fable he can be a, especially with his type of voice. Where I said with Dizzy's voice, his is like that really like you could say raspy but gritty voice. In a way, Fable voice is kind of like that too, but it's like that blood curdling like voice where. Um, if he would have screamed or so, you would literally see blood coming out the mouth. Kind of a nasty perfect in your head. Disregard I even said that. <laughs> but now with Fable, he can hit some vocals, especially when he and especially when he wants to, he can make that auto tune. You gotta remember, he a producer too, so when he uses auto tune, he knows how to use it just right. And then the pain just fades away, and everything's okay. There it is. Hmm. Like that little, like the little whisper part on the, and then come with the end and such. Look, it's basically like this. Artists nowadays they need to start experimenting more with vocals and such. Not just try to make a song and such, but become the song. You can say. Was the second verse like? Hey, the rapping. The difference between you and me. People are looking at you. You hear Fable? That ain't even. I bet you that's not even 
him talking as not a mere so. What a sucker calling out anybody saying if he think look, there's a time I always feel like that when it comes to like making music and such, especially in hip hop, where a lot of people it's basically like this. Nothing is wrong with trying to have some competition and all, but sometimes people be thinking, Oh, you're supposed to be humble and such, which is true. But at the same time, don't I forgot which Jamaican artist said it before. It's like one of my one of my parents' favorite Jamaican artists and such. But they say, Don't take my kindness for weakness. Something like that. Where basically look, my humbleness, you can't take that for granted, cause when it comes to this rapping ish, I can really demolish y'all with this pen and shit. Y'all don't want me to demolish y'all. Okay, listen. Damn, man, put really a tombstone. I've said it before, or if you haven't heard me say it before, and I'll say it again. Abel. He is the definition of passion. I've said it multiple times. Hell, I even said it in like my, what was it? My Planet Z. No, not Planet Z. The freaking, what was it? It was with Boy White, Neon Tide, where... Just because, because uh, I said with hip hop, I get it that hip hop is always like the number one mainstream music that everybody listens to. But when it comes to lyrics, and and I appreciate a comment where it says that even though I'm a hip hop head, I understand that there's other lyrics out there and understand how metal music has its own type of artistry and such. Because nigga, it's true. And if not, let's really think about it. Hip hop is more around like the way of how your culture is and such, but around like certain things that's happening in your life and such. And hey, I'm on for that. Don't get it twisted. But at the same time, when it comes to like rock music, metal or such, you get different types of... Because it all stems from like poetry and such. Music like this stems from poetry. So with like deepness into that poetry and such i feel like rock music gives a lot more emotion a lot more passion than how it is in hip-hop not to say it doesn't but sometimes you want to talk about a performance like really feeling the lyrics and such the rock music does it every single time and you cannot tell me i'm lying you just can't because you know damn well it does Ooh, and I like the little song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Dude, break down. Hey. Fable. Fable with Fable, you can't do no wrong with him. You really can't. Because he's really gonna. As I've said before, when it comes to lyrics, Fable gonna give you not only that passion. But the lyrics to back up that passion and such. Cause, cause like, it's basically like this. With the way how music is today, like mainstream wise, people just want to go off popularity shit. And it's cool and all. But nine times out of ten, there's a lot of people out there who actually want to listen to some lyrics and such. Like some lyricism in any type of way. Like really listen to some messaging and such, regardless of it being popular on TikTok and such. But hey, that's why you always come to the nerdcore. And certain mainstream songs has that too. Certain mainstream artists does it. But let's be honest, nerdcore to me, this is just my opinion. You be hearing a lot more messages, a lot more lyricism, and a whole lot more like. Passion, you can say passion and such, like I've been saying, in these in nerdcore, and in some mainstream artists. Not to say there's not, so, not to say like all of them don't have it. It's just that it tends to get boring if you're if they always talking about the same topic and such. Cause let's be honest, no matter which artist it is, they always are either gonna talk about sex, drugs. Murder or money. And it's one thing to talk about. And the money thing is one thing to talk about it. But if it's always going to be every single song. If you're literally going to put out these on every single song. Then at that point. You're just a generic gangster rapper or whatnot. It is what it is. But either way. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And if you made it to the end. Comment down below. Comment down below. Trying to look for one here. And yeah, I want you comment down below. Comment down below the end. And that makes me know you made it to the end. <laughs> like I just see you there. But either way. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. There you go.